light shining That means it's time again for morning Is it with red? Good morning to you It's my favorite time of the day I just love that we get to be together Me and you this way Good morning this is the fourth day of our Earth Week, remembering Mother Earth. So let's start off with this chorus. Oh, hooray for the world, I'm glad to be on it. Hooray for the world, I'm glad to be on it. Hooray for the world, it's a special place we got. Mother Nature and the human race. Mother Nature and the human race. That's the whole question. How do we do that together? You know, we've talked about 8 billion people on the planet. That's a lot of people. We take up a lot of space and it affects lots of different parts of nature, but especially animals. And we have a guest today. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Black Rhinoceros. I am a black rhinoceros. I weigh over a ton. Big as I am, you might not guess how fast that I can run. I have two horns, sometimes three, that stick out of my head. Do not pick a fight with me or you may end up dead. I am a vegetarian. I graze on leaves and shoots. I snack on twigs like pretzels. I am fond of many fruits. Thorns and sticks don't bother me. That's why I have thick skin. If tasty leaves are in a bush, I push my way right in. I have four legs I stand on, each with three little toes. How do they hold up all my weight? The truth is no one knows. I am a black rhinoceros, be careful around me. I have a nasty temper, I'm as ornery as can be. I know I can look silly rolling in the mud, it's true. But don't be fooled, I'm dangerous, and I'm much faster than you. Rum pa de dum pa de dum pa de dum ba dum bum 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 bum. Mr. Black Rhinoceros. It's a very imposing figure, isn't he? Wow. Black rhinoceros actually range between 1,800 pounds and 3,100 pounds. That's like the weight of a normal car. That's how heavy they are. But you know how fast they are? He said he's faster than us. The fastest human being ever to run in a sprint is Usain Bolt, and he runs just under 28 miles an hour at top speed. A normal human running as fast as they can, 20 miles per hour is the tops, okay? A rhinoceros runs 34 miles per hour they would catch us pretty easily. So you have to be really careful around black rhinoceroses, and they are known for being kind of nasty, okay? Now here's the thing. Rhinoceroses have been on the planet for 50 million years. Black rhinoceroses, the special kind of rhinoceros, has only been on the planet 4.5 million years. It's a long time. You know how long humans have been on the planet? 200,000 years. It's not very long. The rhinoceros have been on here a lot longer than we have, and yet they're in big trouble. In fact, there, there were two kinds of black rhinoceros, and now there's only one left. The eastern rhinoceros, black rhinoceros is the one that's still with us. The western black rhinoceros has gone extinct. Animals need a lot of space, and they need to be left alone to do what they do. And we're not doing such a great job of that. So one of the other things we need to think about during these Earth Days 
is how we can help the animals that have developed and lived on this planet for millions of years survive. Yeah. Black rhinoceroses, koalas, all kinds of birds. There are lots of animals that are having trouble living because there's so many of us. So let's put on our thinking cap and figure out how to coexist with animals and leave them lots of space on this planet. It's a question we have to figure out. Now, some of you wrote back, what do you love about water? So Rose and Hannah Lulu wrote, we love water too. We love to swim in Barton Springs and the San Marcos River. Sounds like a nice place where you live. Cindy writes, my favorite thing about water is how it can make everything clean again. Yeah, we didn't talk about cleaning. We we'll use a lot of water to do that, and boy, it sure helps. Wesley writes, his favorite thing about water is watering the garden with the hose. Yeah, watering the garden with the hose. You ever go and get somebody wet while you're doing it? That's fun. Emmanuel says his favorite thing about water is puddles. Who doesn't love stepping in puddles? Parsa wrote, my favorite thing about water is you can swim in it, slide on it, and float on it. You can. And Parsa asked me, what's my favorite thing about water? And there's so many things, but the first thing that popped into my head is when I get in the ocean and I'm just going up and down with the waves and I feel water all around me. I just love that. I love that feeling. <sighs> so many great things about this planet. I love them all. And I love you guys too. So you take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Zulidib dib dib a doob a dib a doob bop.